In this review, we're going to look at the Good Earth Indoor Outdoor Task Light. Some of its specs include 5000 color temperature, 400 lumens rechargeable lithium ion battery, a runtime of 4 to 16 hours, USB charging cord, three power levels, water weather resistant, magnetic mounts, and an integrated hanger. Opening the case reveals just two items, the light itself, which has a magnet on the back side, top and bottom, and an integrated hanger that flips out on one end, and on the other is the weather resistant cover that allows you to access the power switch for the high, the medium, and the low setting. You can also see that there is a port for charging and a status light that lets you know when the unit is charging and when it's fully charged. Also included is a six inch USB cord. First thing you have to do is plug in the USB cord to a power source, take off the weather covering. In this case, it totally came off, but we'll fix that later. And then we plug in the micro USB end of the USB, get a red status light, letting you know it's charging, and then we just let it charge. You should know that while it's charging, you can still use the light in all three of its settings. So in essence, you can use this as just a lamp. Once the light goes green, we are ready to unplug the unit and put it to use. Make sure to reattach the little weather cover. Here we're in a hallway, which is about 14 feet deep. Wanted to see how good the light disbursement is. So we turn off the lights, allow the camera to adjust, flick on our good earth. And in the high mode, it lights up the entire hallway. Nice, even, smooth light. We go to the medium mode. And yes, it's a little darker, but still plenty of smooth, even light. There are no hot spots as you would expect. And even in low, it's plenty of light for just being in the hallway. For comparison, here's a flashlight, which throws a strong hot spot. You can diffuse it somewhat. The advantage, of course, with the task light is that you can hang it, attach it to things. Whereas the flashlight is really meant to be handheld most of the time. In this side-by-side -side comparison, we see the diffusion of both lights. And of course, the task light is even and smooth consistently. Whereas with a flashlight, depending on which model you have, you may or may not be able to add diffusion to it. Another feature of this unit is if you hold down the power button for about two seconds, the unit starts to strobe a great way of signaling others. Hold it down again, and it goes off. The magnetic mount allows you to attach to most metal surfaces, refrigerators, inside hood of your car, nice way to hang light either to the side or above. In addition, we can use the integrated hook to just hang the light on a hinge, on a hook, the magnetic mount comes in really handy when you just need to use both hands and a flashlight quite doesn't suffice. I even use it on my nightstand, set it on low and it's a great reading light, doesn't disturb my partner. The membrane not only protects from water and dirt and grime, but it also allows you access to the power switch just by pressing down on it. Just remember, it's water resistant, not waterproof. Some of the cons for this unit, I think the USB cord is just a little too short. Would have been nice to have about twice that length. The surface is smooth and slippery. So if your hands are sweaty or oily, then gripping the unit could be an issue. The integrated hanger is made out of plastic, so I don't know about its durability. Pros for this unit is the light is really white bright, consumes very little power. You can use it indoors and outdoors, as long as you're using that protective cover on the end. It's small, it's lightweight, and it can be plugged in. I definitely would think this would be a great addition to any home or toolbox. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave us a comment. 
And as always, thank you very much for watching.